coming from Wahin, Thailand. Let's have a look. Ah, beautiful day out there. Good morning. How are you doing? You got a big day planned today? Let's get to it. So here's my typical breakfast, by the way. Yogurt, muesli, banana, blueberries, and my handy dandy travel AeroPress. It makes barista style coffee right in your room for a fraction of the price. Never leave home without it. There you go, coffee and breakfast. <laughs> Let's eat. By the way, if you missed a tour of this fantastic place, have a look in the previous vid, plus many other condos that I looked at. Yeah. So the plan today is go visit neighboring Shaham. It's a quaint little Thai favored beach resort. I haven't been there for years, so I'm looking forward to it. This is my cheap but functional GoPro chest mount. I just put a hard piece of plastic in here. <laughs> Cost about five bucks for this setup. Right, let's test it out. Lift, no, stairs. Always try to take the stairs, especially if it's only a few flights. There's our fold, by the way. Lovely. This place is packed, by the way. Handy if you speak Russian because that's the main language you hear around here. There's my steed. Right, I wanna show you this. This is a little cushion and I use it primarily for riding this bike. Just put a little air in, it's like a bladder and it gives you a nice cushion to ride on. I love it. Here we go. What a cop. <laughs> cop and cop. Love this neighborhood, by the way. I don't know if I've shown a video yet about this neighborhood, but I will. I think this is the best area in Wahin to live or stay. Close to the beach, that is. I mean, if you're staying here a long, long time and you want a house, you're probably over the tracks up 102 or something. Well, I should put up the map where we're going. I'll put up the map now. By the way, if you live here, there's a little bought buses. They start from here. There's a couple of them right there, green buses. Pay your 15 baht and hop into town. 10 minutes. Love, love, love Kautakia. All kinds of little shops and eateries. You see that one's packed. <laughs> Surf and sand. I can recommend that hotel too. I've stayed there before. I remember 20 years ago, I used to live in Wahin. And back then, Kautakia up here, this would be flooded. You need a canoe to get up up and down this uh, soy here. I think they put in a big drainage pipe since then. Not sure how effective it is, but I'm sure it's better than it was. Blueport shopping mall there. It's the sort of Swiss shopping mall. One of two main malls in Wahin. Traffic in Wahin can be a bit of a nightmare, especially on the weekend when Half of Bangkok files out and comes down here. <laughs> hey, 91, 95. 91. 91. Yeah. Today's gasoline petrol prices. My me cop. My me, my gun. 80 baht to fill this up, by the way from quarter tank. So it'd probably be a hundred baht to fill it up, three bucks. It'll last me a week. It's only gonna last me a day today. <laughs> We're going to Sham. And the Wahin Airport is on the right-hand side here. Over the years, they tried to have flights to uh, Wahin. They extended the runway. And there's talk again about having regular flights here. So we'll see what develops. Let's just take a look at that airport, shall we? See what, if anything, is going on. What is this bus to Suwanapum and Hatia? How would they get from Wahin to here? <laughs> That'd be a bus in itself. Oh, free shuttle van to Clock Tower. So from the Clock Tower, you take a shuttle bus and then get on here. Who knew? I didn't. Everyone in Wahin's laughing at me now. <laughs> 
Here's the airport. Why don't you let me have a look? Air Asia counter with people. They should know. Should only Chiang Mai. Yes. How often do they fly from Chiang Mai? So we have three flights per week. Yeah. Three flights per week from yes. Chiang Mai. When they Friday and Sunday to uh, so Are they trying to maybe do in Kuala Lumpur? KL. And, yeah, that KL would be good. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Thanks. There you go. That's what's happening at Wahin Airport. Coming from Chiang Mai. Easy. All right, back on the road. Okay, this tunnel we're about to go through is actually the airport runway. They extended the runway a few years back and uh, we're now driving under the runway. Now I'm gonna make another side trip. This time to Palm Hills. I haven't been up here in years. When I lived here, I used to come up here every week. Use the pool, use the club. There was a nice break. Ooh, it looks like the uh, dual track railway is pressing on. So we've got an overpass here now. All right. So when the dual track is complete, you'll reduce the time going from Bangkok to Wa Hin by train, two and a half, three hours, which is uh, on par with the bus, really. Not bad. And I love the train. Wow, this is all new to me as well. This used to be a little dirt track here. What do you got? Buy Palm Hill Cup. Okay. Come cup. With some pretty swish homes. And there's a handy reminder. There are maintenance fees for this development. My buddy Rob used to have a house out here. Just look at some of these homes. Well, you can't really see, can you? <laughs> there you go, there's an example. Beautiful luxury pool villa for sale. Price, 22.9 million Thai baht. But think about, yeah, back in Vancouver, that would get you a, a fixer-upper in the downtown east side. <laughs> Here you got a swimming pool on a private lake. This is like a old school week for me. We're going to the sports club, which is just up here to the left. Palm Crescent if you want some first-class accommodation right on the golf course. All right, let's go up here and have a look. I haven't been here in years. Just listen how peaceful it is. Wonderful, yeah? What do you got? Pomo Hien Cup. Yeah, the lovely pool. What do you got? Still have other sports here. Badminton, squash. Looks like the tennis courts have seen better days, mind you. I wonder if they're renovating it or what's going on. I'm not sure. And there's a fee for visitors. Hmm. This is where the golf carts cross over. I think they've got, if I remember, there's like nine on this side and nine on that side. When I golf, I go down to the, the army base at Swanson. It's half the price and it's manicured. After all, you got all those reservists to take care of the place. Pressing on to Sha'am. Okay, almost a Sha'am. What do I see? BYD dealer. If you know anything about Warren Buffett, he bought into this company, I think, uh, 15 years ago. So I forget how many times he's multiplied his money. Basically, it's China's biggest electric vehicle manufacturer. Why is this a big deal? Because they're pushing into Thailand like nobody's business. <laughs> I test drove a bunch of electric cars in Bangkok. I'll post that bit up. You can see it. Here's some of their cars. You see, they're pretty nice looking SUVs. And they've actually got a good reputation, their, their top end SUVs. Anyways, BID's making a big, big push into Thailand. I'm gonna miss the roar of a V8 and we'll still need oil for some time to come, but EVs are coming on, that's the reality. Thailand now has over 2,000 charging points. You could drive from Chiang Mai to Phuket, literally, easily. Okay, welcome to Shaab. Ducky inflatables. Good indication there's a beach nearby. Here we go. 
down to the beach. This is where it's damn handy to be on a bike, especially on a busy weekend in Sham. Thai families love this beach on the weekends. Why not? We'll take a peek at the beach here in a second. This will give you an idea of what it's all about. Grab some chairs in the shade, have a dip, have a barbecue, and there be the beach. Everyone enjoy. This is the number one activity. Rent one of these. 40 baht, 50 baht, 60 yes. baht. Okay. My pang. Thank you. Ooh, they got horses like Wahim too. First flying I see has a speedo. <laughs> Busy here because it's a weekend, of course. Kids love this beach too. <laughs> see? Kid approved. A few foreigners up at this end. All right, let's walk down the street and see what we can see. They even bring food to you. That like up. 120 baht. Wow. Okay, cup and cup. 120 baht for those shrimps. Ready to eat. Look at that Tom Young Goong on the fly. Wow. That looks amazing. What do you got? I'll be seeing you later. <laughs> Roadie seller. What do you got? Sometime seller. Just great street food everywhere you look. Big fusion place, it says. See why this place is popular. Buffet. Beer. Three hours. Three ninety nine. Fifty nine for glass. The prices look alright for the Thai food. Nope, T bone. Five hundred gram. That's a monster. Seven fifty. Aussie, they say. And low call from 390. Local beef's getting better and better, but perfect place to sit, too. Come cup. Steak fusion. There's some cheap beach eats right there. My pang. <laughs> Cease it, bud. 40 baht, 30 baht. Come cup. Endless places to eat around here. Bustling little Sha'am on the weekend. <laughs> and during the week, this place will be a ghost town almost. All the Thai tourists will be gone home because they've got to work for the week. Right, I'm heading down this end of the beach because I saw a condo online for rent for 6,000 baht a month. So let's have a look. A colorful Sha'am. This is Soy Bus Stop. That's where all the local expat bars are, etc. And it goes around the horn. Nothing happening right now. We'll definitely come back here later on tonight and have a look. Oh. <laughs> There you go, another hotel, 400 baht. Remember, I'm looking for a home base. I'm only gonna be there half the year, maybe. Somewhere within close proximity to Bangkok that has a beach. Sham's ticking some boxes. Grand Pacific. This looks lovely, doesn't it? It's supposed to be part of the Grand Pacific. Money cop? Oh, thank you. Get all papaya Thai style, spicy Thai style papaya. Wow. And this uh, promotion, this chang beer. Buy three. Buy three. 160. Yes. Pretty good. Yes. You okay. Oh, I'm, I'm meeting somebody then. I think I'll come back. Uh, yes. Thank you. Come, come. That's not bad, is it? That's what this place is associated with. Come got home trong by comes. Thank you. Bellevue International Restaurant. He don't say. Celestino Italiano restaurant. Something for everybody on Chaham Beach. From your 300 baht bungalows up to your probably 2,000 and up and a lot more. Swish resorts. Up to you as they say. Beach, 
condo. Is that it? That can't be it. How do you get into this place? <laughs> okay, I've just got to figure out where the entrance is. Probably up here, I'm thinking. Oh, wait a sec. Did I just self bait and switch? There's two Lumpinis. Uh -huh. And this one is Lumpini Sea View. Sales from 1.8 million baht. I'll put the price on the screen for you. That looks lovely. This is only 6,000 baht. So what is that, $200 a month or something? Considering I'm only gonna be there for six months of the year, just a place to hang my hat. Right, let's have a look. Hey, first thing, here's the pool. It's a good size. Very peaceful. Pomo Hien Cup. Ladies are busy here cleaning, but no, it's okay. Oh, it looks good, actually. It's all right. Decent little gym, Cup and Cup. Locker rooms. Doors closing. Okay. Microwave, fridge, dinette. Oh, very nice. So it's got a pool view. The bedroom. Six thousand per month. Yeah. It's a good price. Yeah. All in all, really not bad, especially when you consider the price and what you get with it, the pool and gym and what have you. Shudder to think what this would cost in, say, my home town of Vancouver, for example. <laughs> and here's the other Lumpini. Lumpini Park Beach. So that's different than the other Lumpini, obviously. Okay, park that's beach. the Park Beach. Yeah, and, and, and it's Park Beach 2. Park Beach 2, and that's from 2.6? 2.6. Uh, million. And it, I saw, uh, sold out. Okay, yeah, second, second. Hand. sold out. And yeah, this one's new. Project. Five pools. Five Bending, pools. Uh, salt, wow. system. salt system. Yeah, nice. Salt system. Very nice. Got health, fitness, and rivalry. Really helpful staff here. Okay, she's contacting the owner to have a look at a place here. So while I'm waiting, I'll have a look at the swimming pool. Well, pools. There's five of them, apparently. Damn, this is ticking some boxes here, I have to say. <laughs> this is really unexpected. Sham? Who knew? Are you kidding me? There you go. Couldn't get much closer to the beach unless you were on it. I'm not disappointed there aren't five separate pools. Off to see a room. Well, there are, but there is a pool here. Smaller pool. Oh, and another one there. Okay, there is five. That's oh, a cute room. Pool access. For a long time. I love that they have these screens. It keeps the mozzies out and you can have the wind going through. Nice balcony. And of course the pool. Pardon the mobile advertisement noise. Well, it's tiny, but it's got everything you'd want. Okay, size bedroom, really? Oh, with another TV. There you go. And aircon, of course. So there's the pool view. Hong Nam, nice and clean, modern, gay. Separate shower. Right. And it helps deep and sauna. Free weights, that's all I need. Cardio, got the beach for that. Mind you, I wouldn't mind using one of these machines with this view. Mm. So there's one for 2.39 million, 3.3.
Yeah, just coming down here because I want to have a look at if I was to move to Cheyenne, what do they have? And here they have a new, well, new to me, Tesco Lotus. I keep saying Tesco, it's just Lotus now. Because uh, Tesco was bought out by CPL Group, which also owns True and also owns 7 Eleven and all sorts of things. Let's have a look. MK restaurants. Okay, so there's quite a bit of stuff going on here. SP Bakery. Got uh, some electronics here, banana IT. They're a little bit pricier, but you can do returns here. Just keep your receipt. Like recently, I bought a portable hard drive and it was running so hot that I brought it back. It was practically melting in my hand. It's on. Pharmacy. Drugstore. Food court. Brilliant. All sorts going on here. 60 baht, two bucks. 50 baht. Fresh fish. Tilapia, cheapest chips that. They practically give it away. Squid on ice, anyone? Great name, Gourmet. And pretty decent looking selection actually. Nice little salad bar. Always do the beer price check. This is all the imported stuff. This bud could be yours for 45 baht. Stella, 55. Corona, 68. Beer Lao, 59. Leo Lek, 35. Leo Yai, 55. And as you can see, besides cheeses and butters and everything else, they've got a housewares department too. Quite a good one, actually. This is kind of like a, a mini Walmart. And of course, everything from microwaves to washing machines to fridges, do yen as they say. 6990, 4390. Campbell soup, beans, pasta. The usual. Good produce selection. We we'll definitely go to the fresh market for most things though. Seeing everything from frozen pizza, frozen McNuggets to, but no, no frozen blueberries. Oh, I know who will have it. Macro. They've got a macro here apparently. I'll we'll have a look at that. They've got a bit of muesli, but they got that Kellogg's crop. No offense, Kellogg's. Right, let's see what they have it. Macro. See you later, Lotus. I don't know why they put an extra S on the back. I would have just kept Lotus or Lotus Plus. Then they could have their Money Plus, Pharmacy Plus, etc. Right, let's quickly check out Macro just down the street. And here we are at Macro. Macro's a little bit like a, I want to say a Costco. A bit like that anyways. I see Macro is not going to be outdone in the donuts and coffee department. They've got a mobile Duncan. Espresso just over a buck. This is Macro. Wholesale. The first thing I see, frozen blueberries. One forty nine, one fifty. So what's that? Five bucks. Let's check the fresh. So this is selfish. This is what I'm interested in. Maybe not what you're interested in. And the fresh blueberries. Fresh blueberries. Sixty nine. What? That's a good deal, actually. If you're a kiwi in New Zealand and you're interested in how much the kiwis are, there they are. Sixty nine and fifty nine. Sixty nine for the golds. By the looks of things, I love those gold kiwis. They are delicious, but you get four of them only. Probably you guys get them a lot cheaper. And the greens, you get, it looks like six, a six pack. Strawberries, Korean strawberries, 189. 
that's a bit spendy, but it's seasonal. And you can get the ones from Chiang Mai when they're in season, when they're available for a fraction of that. That's a monster catfish, check that out. Salmon. Not sure where it's from. Probably Norwegian and probably farmed. Leo, 24 pack, 762. I'll have to do the math and put that on the screen for you. Chang jumps up to 876. Remember in, in tops, I think it was, Chang and Leo were parity priced. But you can see there's a difference here. You could go Johnny Walker for 897. Or Charlie House. Distilled from sugar cane. There you go. There's a good run. Captain Morgan Gold. 397, that's not bad. Macro's got less selection of cheese, but the best prices definitely. Right. So sizing this place up a little bit. Sham, who knew? It's alright. I can hold on to you very much longer. Yeah. Might have to slip away. So this is gonna be dinner. Looks great, actually. My pop had one of these back in the day, I believe. Front row seat and bucket full of beers. Okay, this place is getting way too rowdy for me. That's it. I'm out of here. Right, I came, I saw, I think I'm done here.